It is a highly controversial policy. A plane taking off to Rwanda. That's my dream. With strong feelings on both sides. After months of deliberation today, a high court decision sending asylum seekers to Rwanda is legal. How did you feel when you heard the judgment this morning? It must have been a blow. We just feel utterly disappointed. Like I say, our country can do better. Why are we looking at something that is going to cost our country billions and, and not achieve anything? N nobody believes the Rwanda plan is going to stop small boat crossings. But the government believe it will work, since months since a late-night appeal grounded the first Rwanda flight. Two prime ministers later, and Rishi Sunak today in Latvia, made clear immigration at home is a personal priority. I welcome the decision of the court today. We've always maintained that our Rwanda policy is lawful. I'm pleased that was uh, confirmed today. And this is just one part of our plan to tackle illegal migration. But successive prime ministers haven't solved the issue of migrant crossings. Last week, four lives lost, a reminder of how dangerous the journey is. The court also ruled that the cases of eight asylum seekers will be reconsidered. The government could end up locked in legal action. In practice, though, couldn't the government have to justify every single case, every single person they want to deport? Any individual has, uh, is able to bring a, a judicial review claim. That's how the, the legal system works in the UK. And if the Home Office fails to consider their case and their personal circumstances properly, then they would have grounds to bring a judicial review challenging that decision. We cannot tolerate people coming here illegally. The Home Secretary today wouldn't confirm when the first flight will leave. The sooner it is up and running, the sooner we will break the business model of the evil gangs. But says she's ready to defend the policy again in court. The Rwanda plan has become symbolic of something much bigger for a prime minister who wants to be seen to be tough on immigration. He knows that this is something that comes up with the electorate on the doorstep, something that matters to many Conservative MPs. And while today is a victory for the government, there are still questions about whether the Rwanda plan really is workable. The PM has pledged to clear the asylum backlog. He's talked of a deal with Albania too. Whatever the policy, success will be judged by images like this, whether the government can stop people risking everything to make it to the UK. Ali Fortescue, Sky News.